I love Christmas and I love electronics. So of course I got this cute snowflake set from Pimeroni. So let's make it. steps got some instructions of course I'll look at that of course I will I'm not just gonna make it up right so this is a collaboration with someone called Lucky Resistor and uh, Pimeroni Lucky Resistor actually designed this I think a couple of years ago now so originally Lucky Resistor sold these kits as something you would solder yourself uh, but for anyone who, who's done any surface mount soldering, it's a little bit tricky to do. I mean, I would love the challenge of soldering it myself, but this would probably be quite a long video if, if I did that. Right, let's have a look. So, custom circuit boards with tiny teeny leds on can you see they're so small what are they 0603s or something like that loads of leds on the front and on the back each one has a microprocessor pimeroni came up with these kits and they've done all the tricky surface mount soldering for you which is kind isn't it um, and I believe they also got support from the processor manufacturer as well, Atmel. So it's, oh, it's an ARM Cortex M0. So there's quite a popular uh, processor for um, Arduino type things. I know Adafruit have a few feathers with the M0 on, and I've used those quite a bit myself. Right, so I guess we need to snap these open and according to the instructions you want to try bending the circuit board around the snowflakes rather than the snowflakes themselves. Now what do they call those um, those little holes? Is it like oh, something to do with rats or mice or something like that? I'll look that up later. I'll leave a comment. Let me know what those are called because I've forgotten temporarily. Right, so we're getting these out. Oh, that's actually, they come out really easily. It's nice. Oh, I love sparkly LEDs. snowflakes out okay and then we have this power board there so I guess that distributes the power and has a little on button and Pimeroni's contribution to this project is a little button holder you know Pimeroni go way back to doing Raspberry Pi cases out of laser cut acrylic. So that's their speciality there. And they've laser cut this, it's a little cover for the button. I probably won't put that on initially just to test it out. Then I'll add that once I'm sure that it's all working. So yeah, I should say that although I am friends with Pimeroni, I know them pretty well. Um, I don't know Lucky Resistor, but despite that, I did actually just pay for this myself. They didn't send me it. They don't even know I'm making this video. Obviously I'm friends with them, so I'm probably a little bit biased, but I'm going to give you my honest opinion of this nonetheless. Okay, so this is the long one. I'm assuming that goes between the power board and the first snowflake flake. So these are ZIF connectors. You've probably encountered them before. 
Zero insertion force is what I just learned it stood for. Right, so you just lift that up, put it in, zero force, push it in. Oh, I really need to put my glasses on. Close the little clip. Seems like it's in. Cool, okay. First snowflake then. So these have got markings in and out. Oh, this really doesn't seem to be going in very well. Um, is there something blocking it? I don't think so. I think I've probably just got to shove it in a bit further. Ah, oh, that feels a bit better. Yeah, there you go. That's better. I mean, I have put in these types of connectors before. I don't quite know why I'm having trouble today. So I think I've got the knack of this now. It's just about finding that right spot where it aligns and just pushing it gently in with a little more than zero insertion force, but not much. There you go, wiggle it around a little bit and you can feel that it sort of holds on. And then you put it down and that's nice and tight, okay. And of course, embarrassingly, I've got these two the wrong way around. It does say in and out quite clearly on this. Of course, once you've actually put it in, <laughs> you can't see that word in and out anymore. Not that that's any excuse, it's my own stupid fault. But something to be a bit careful of because it's difficult to check once it's all in. Honestly, I'm supposed to be the professional. Another thing about these Ziff cables, these very flat cables, is that they are a little fragile. Like you don't, you want to make sure that when you put this uh, decoration up, that you don't squish these cables because they're going to kind of fold and get kinks in. It's not going to be very nice. more. This is a bit more fiddly than I was expecting, I have to admit. Right, there we are, all done. Okay, okay let's do it. Hopefully I don't blow anything up. So that's it. Ah, yeah, right, so you saw there, they just flashed for a bit. That's when they're talking to each other, I'm told. And then they just go into nice, oh, look at that. Oh, that was so beautiful. Let's check out the other patterns. I think, oh, that is really pretty. Oh. Pattern number two. Good. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty beautiful. One final thing is to put this on. With these, these little standoffs, 
These PCB mounted standoffs are really nice because they've got screw threads in. That's definitely something worth looking at. I don't know why I can't get them in. They got, they do as well. No wonder I couldn't get the screw in. Look, can you see that? It's like a little plastic cover on the screws, which is actually blocking the screw hole. I guess that's, I don't know, maybe that's how, how they come on the reel before they go on the pick in place. Oh, that's rather sweet. Look at that little laser etched snowflake in there. All right, try again. Maybe they'll go in the screw threads this time. My goodness, it's been so embarrassing, this build. So many dumb mistakes. Yeah, so one thing that uh, Lucky Resistor said it was on uh, on their YouTube channel. Uh, was that it was hard to capture how this looks in real life? I mean, I must admit the camera's not doing a terrible job. It's quite a lot of ambient light, but they are really super beautiful and sparkly. Uh, I've got some gear. I've got a Sony A7S, which is really good in low light, and I also have a nice uh, diffusion filter for that for filming my low level light and laser projects. So. I wonder if it will look good shot through that. Let's give it a try. So there it is, the Pimeroni and Lucky Resistor snowflake decoration. Well, look at them. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> I mean, I really like them. I mean, surface mounts, LEDs, sparkly particle lights. I mean, what's really not to like? I think they're about 40 quid or something like that. Probably today is the last chance that you've got to buy one or buy a set for your friends and family if you so desire. Now they are really, really very bright. So I kind of feel like they almost work best in daylight, but yeah, very blue, very sparkly. Give them a try if you're into electronics. And uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna have a very fun electronic Christmas. I hope you do too. Be more in the new year. I've got some very exciting things planned. So please do stick around, subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you next year.